Antibiotic DB is an easy to use database which you can search for information about antibiotics that have been discovered since the 1960s. Some of these have had work done to start developing them into new drugs, but none of them have been approved. This is a great platform for researchers seeking new treatments for use against drug resistant infections. Antimicrobial resistance is probably the most serious problem facing mankind in the 21st century. It's been estimated that by 2050, that up to 10 million people could die from AMR. This type of drug resistance knows no barriers. It does not discriminate between age, wealth or country. And so more and more medical procedures will not be possible. It is essential that new drugs are found. It starts in the laboratory of finding substances that work in the test tube to either inhibit the growth of bacteria or kill them. There is then a very lengthy and laborious process by which these substances are translated into compounds that can be turned into drugs. Many of these never make it all the way into a drug. Antibiotic DB is very important. It is the first such database describing antibiotics, containing details of compounds, many of which have never been developed into new drugs. This is a very large database and it's continuing to grow. It has nearly a thousand compounds in it already and information is being added on a very regular basis. Development of an antibiotic can cost up to one to two billion dollars. You have to remember that a significant amount of research may already have been done. Antibiotic DB allows people to find out what work has been done before and this is really important. Firstly it will avoid duplication and secondly it will allow people to take information about these substances and use them as a platform perhaps to do new novel chemistry, develop a new series of compounds. It is particularly important for academic researchers who may not know what has been discovered before. With the collapse of the large pharmaceutical industry in the main discovering new antibiotics, it's important that all those that are left in this area, particularly from academia or small companies, have the information in which to build their research on, and antibiotic DB will be very helpful in this regard. When I was the BSAC Chair in Public Engagement and Director of Antibiotic Action, we had the opportunity to develop Antibiotic DB as there was no other publicly available database. The idea of Antibiotic DB developed about eight years ago where a group of us were at a conference talking about how could we get all the information about antibiotics that have been discovered and never developed out into the public domain. And that was the germ of the idea that started Antibiotic DB, and so it comprises all of the publicly accessible information we were able to gather over the last couple of years.